Come here, my love. Come here, my love. Come here, my love. Ah. Oh, this is my love right here. And my back black cats are actually lucky. Oh my God. Oh, she is heavy though. So, I am not a superstitious person. But for those of you that are, you know, everything that is created in your mind, whether it be good or whether it be bad. And it's been my belief that black cats are lucky and filled with love. And that's what I've experienced in my life. So anyways, I want to catch up with you and tell you a couple things that have been going on. And I was able to run some errands this weekend and we're only into August. And as you know, how the stores put everything out so early, well, I had to drop off something, um, return an Amazon package, some, some, uh, like blouse I didn't like, it didn't work out. So I couldn't help but run past the display for the Yankee candle. And, um, I noticed they had the Halloween stuff out already and they had the fall scents and they had, um, some of it was picked over already. And here we are, it's only August. So, um, after I returned my Amazon package and the store I was in, as most of you know, I'm sure you've done this, they give you a coupon to get you to spend something in the store. So I normally just rip it up. But today I decided to get an Amazon, I mean, <laughs> decided to get a Yankee candle because the display was there and it was all like picked over and my favorite candles for October is your classic spiced pumpkin. And this year they have it mixed with a banana. And I went over there and sampled the smell and I didn't like it. And so I was very disappointed. So I'm looking through the entire display at the very bottom shelf. I saw one left for the spiced pumpkin, which I love. I love the spice pumpkin and I actually burn these all year long. So whenever this time of year rolls around, I try to collect a few candles and I might have one left over, but I've always liked the pumpkin scented or just spiced candles. I like the spiced vanilla, anything with, with a spice in it, but the holiday scents. I don't go for some of the scents you can get other parts of the year they're just a little bit too perfumey for me anyway enough about that so if you want a pumpkin candle you better start going out and looking for one and earlier this week after i had dropped those other videos i was trying to read up on meditation and it's interesting the things that you read and remember you can't read everything or believe everything on the internet and there's a lot of crap on the internet. There's a lot of good information, but there's a lot of crap. So there was this article on meditation and they said one of the dangers of meditation is that some people hallucinate. I thought that was funny. And it's probably written by a skeptic. And the, what really happens is when you're meditating, it opens you up even more to spirit and that hallucinations they're probably talking about is spirit. And so if you're a non-believer, it's hallucinations. If you are a believer, it's spirit. So anyways, I wanted to talk about what happened to me earlier this week. So I was reading up on the meditations and fooling around or playing with my uh, essential oil sprays that I had gotten and talked about in the last video. And I was doing this right before bedtime and Whenever I'm doing anything like this, I make sure, and pretty much anyways, in order to have a good night's sleep, and if I'm, for example, there's no TV, no alcohol, no pills, no food, no late, no late night exercise. So remember, I'm clear of all that stuff. So I'm just reading my meditation booklets, uh, just setting up what I need to do. Uh, I need to rearrange my room actually and make a spot for myself. 
So I'm thinking all these things and reading and relaxing, even just doing the research. So then I finally go to sleep and I had a disturbing dream and I just had been talking with my sister and I haven't had any disturbing dreams or I wouldn't call it a nightmare. It was more of a disturbing dream. I haven't had any bad dreams probably in years. So once in a while I'll have an anxiety dream, but nothing like really serious. It's I can tell like a mild anxiety dream, but this was um, a very peculiar dream. And I was trying to sleep and something kept pulling all the covers off the bed, but there was nothing there and they were just yanking the covers off me. And I kept trying to organize my shelves because I have some bookshelves in my room. And every time I put something up on a shelf, something came off, like fell off. Things were just, every time I tried to organize, things went into like disarray. It was just very frustrating. So I thought it was the strangest dream. And one of the things that you have to keep in mind when you meditate or decide to explore any paranormal uh, things, um, it can open you up for good and it can open you up for a negative. And um, as soon as something that you recognize might be happening if you're a very open person, um, you have to shut it down right away. And most important thing, even if you're starting out, is to set boundaries and don't let anything negative enter any part of your life. And um, if you feel the slightest difference or something's out of balance, whether you're doing your, working with your crystals, you know, I've got my, I still have my my tortellane and I got this gorgeous crystal that a friend gave me. Um, prayer, like I said, meditation, Tai Chi, any of that stuff. If you notice any changes or changes in your sleep, you might have a negative attachment. And if your dream, if you wake up and you realized you've dreamt some something odd that doesn't totally doesn't make any sense or if you're thinking while you're awake if you're thinking anything that that's weird why am i thinking that those aren't my thoughts bingo they're not your thoughts so anything like that enters in your head you may have to do set some boundaries and do almost like a self cleansing and there's a, a di several different ways you could do that you could get, even when you're taking a shower, think of a white light, could be a white light, a gold light, or a pink light. And think of it, if you're a believer, you believe in God, think of this white light coming down from the heavens. And when you're in the shower, the water is coming down all over you. You're washing the white light is going to come down and cleanse every inch of you from your head down to your toes and anything negative is going to be washed away you might also want to cleanse the house do the sage use a sound whatever you whatever your methods are get all that negativity anything that you think might be attached get it out of the house and then you're good to go proceed with your research or whatever you know you were doing. So, one of my fears with me going down this path was once I awakened any of my abilities that the floodgates would open and anything and everything would just come pouring in. And that's what um, this gentleman I had spoken to probably about 13 years ago um, told me that when he embraced the paranormal anything to do with you know like uh, what we were discussing the floodgates opened and every all these things came in that he wasn't prepared for or didn't want and the only thing we can do is set boundaries 
And if something is in your life, unseen, or in your home, you just need to get it out, kick it out, set your boundaries, tell it to leave. Um, I was in the backyard one evening watering plants on the lanai. This is several, several years ago. My husband was at work and my parents were living in Venice. I was home alone. I had my kitties with me. I was watering outside. And where we live, it's historic ground where there used to be, um, used to be used for housing animals, like circus animals. Anyways, um, I had seen a vision of a, like a scary face in my closet. It looked like a bum, actually. And then once I got rid of him, I was out watering on the lanai, I saw a black shadow figure. And remember, my neighbor, my yard backs up to my neighbors. I have neighbors on either side. And I had the outside lights on, but this thing was blacker than black. It was watching me. And this is totally unlike me. What I did was I told it to get the F, you know what, out of there. And I didn't hold back. I screamed from the depth of my soul and told it to go and that it wasn't welcome. Well, whatever it was ran and I never saw it again. So, and that's not my normal, most of you that know me, I'm not like a big cursor, but this thing knew I meant business and I was telling it to leave. And um, I screamed, I was angry, I wasn't scared. That's just like in the, the silly films that you might see or never show fear, never feel fear because that's when things take advantage of you as they do in real life shouldn't say real life as they do in life and the afterlife so never show your fear never feel your fear and if you feel the fear push that feeling out and pull up your pull your strength up from wherever you can find it and if you need help call on somebody else um when i was having trouble i guess it was maybe i was driving in my car and i was just thinking about something I had to deal with that was going to be a pain in the neck during my work day. And um, I talked to my dad sometimes when I'm in the car and I, I asked him that if you can, if you're around, please help me today. I got a, I got this incredible day ahead of me. So call on whoever you um, have and or call on the Archangels. Anyway, it's pretty heavy tonight. Um, Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. I'll leave you on that note. Take care.